Hi, I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, the leading online racket specialist. And I'm here in Chicago at the World 2019 Squash Championships and I'm here with Ian Yao N. And we're about to do our questions and answers. I think I've used it ever since I started my career. I mean, um, ever since I was 12, I've been playing all, all throughout the British Juniors and uh, been using, yeah, pretty much since I was 12. Not really, I've, I've switched around a fair bit over the years, but um, towards the end, I still come back to the teardrops. I think earlier years, there wasn't, there wasn't as many teardrops rackets, but um, towards the last few years, I've started using, using a teardrop. I find that it just gives me a little bit more pace when I'm flicking the ball around one court. One thing that I really, really like is uh, the, fan, the fan stringing design. I just find it um, gives me a little bit more bite on the ball, gives me a little bit more punch, a little bit more power on that. And that's, um, I feel that part of my game that I need to improve on, so the racket definitely helps in that department, so it's, it's been great. Yeah. Squash I did. Nicole David definitely coming from Malaysia. Um, she's done a lot of amazing stuff in her career and she's really done a lot to help Malaysia squash as well. And um, if it weren't for her, I don't think I'll be, I'll be here as now as a squash player. Um, not much, nothing else. I just play squash all the time. Yeah. Um, I do like a good solo with um, just feeding myself on the back end and um, going for those back end volley drops, volley straight drops. Warm up for my squash games. I normally give myself half an hour. I get here, um, I'll do a bit of a running just to get my body warm, and then I've got I'll do some active stretches as well, some dynamic stretches to get my body um, going, and um, finish off with some ghosting high intensity works so that I'm prepared for the match. I am actually, I think, I think most players are and um, there's a certain things that I kind of do but over the years I try to lessen it down so that I can just really focus on my squash instead but I do have a few superstitions. Favourite squash tournament so far, I think this one has to be one of the best ones and um, if not I think TOC would be one of the top ones as well. Um, 2019, um, I've been climbing steadily up the rankings for last year, so it would be great if I can start breaking into the top 25, start being players up in the top 20 level. So hopefully that works out and um, yeah, maybe, maybe make a push at the Asian individuals as well, try and win that.